right, we have, we're powered off at the moment. Let's click, click, boom. We've got a cabinet that won't pull down. And so it dies on runtime error. Here's our buddy. Um, kill that. Oh, these are the ones that you access from the back, which sucks. Lots of oil right here, so I'm guessing our leak is the uh, the rust nonsense. Although it doesn't look terrible. Oh yeah, it does. All right, I haven't done anything yet. I haven't hooked up. There was no service port on this one. I do have a sight glass, okay? But I don't have it running yet. I'm gonna have them turn it on while I'm back here. But once they do that, we're gonna have air moving in places that'll make things more difficult for me. This is definitely oil laden right here, for sure, for sure, for sure. But we may just be so low that we're not bleeding much. Hopefully, I don't see the rust I thought I would see. So hopefully, we've just got some very repairable leak. This is not one that uses the condensate loop, so it's not, not leaking from there. they blow out instead of pulling in so you can have a really clogged coil from the inside I'm gonna be that guy man I'm actually getting no hits with the leak detector we're down to 44 we're running efficiently the coil isn't spotless on the inside but it's honestly not bad um, I'm slightly overcharged okay so we'll remedy that I, when I first got here, I got a little bit of a hit off of the Schrader because it didn't have a cap on it, but that's the low side. So I'm not going to be that guy who's like, oh, you were leaking from the Schrader. Ah. But I went to the evaporator and I got no hits in the evaporator. I got no hits here in sniffing at the TXV. Uh, I definitely felt like there was oil down here. Factory crimp leading by. Not leaking from there, but look, I will smooth it out. I just soaked in gentle, no bubbles. Okay. And then, here in a few minutes, I'll show you. You can make the little bubbles. Which that would make sense because I had oil all here. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pinch that shut. I'm gonna throw a dab of 
weld the, the dab on there. back and say that is not correct. I think there was just air that stayed trapped down there and with the vibration of the machine it worked up because after I sat here and let it let it sit and let it be, I'm really not getting any bumps. My operating pressures are spot on. My cyclones is clear. Satisfy. I used the heck out of that sniffer. Nothing, man. So she satisfied. What happens is it pulls down to 28 and then it shuts off. So we're good. Um, I mean, if this thing that it was missing a cap and I I got like a hiccup of a hit when I first got here, but then never again. I never found the leak. But we're just gonna go, man. We're gonna go with this. And if I if I get a call back in you know short order because she's short again, then we'll. We'll take it from there, but right now, there at lunchtime, I'm in the way, and uh, we're up and running.